Starbucks announced today it will shut down 8,000 stores to tackle racism. The closures will happen in the afternoon on May 29th. And Starbucks says during that time, 175,000 of its employees will get racial bias training. The announcement comes after the arrest of two men having a meeting inside a Philadelphia Starbucks after they asked to use the bathroom but didn't buy anything. They were accused of trespassing. Bias training isn't only happening in the corporate world. Local police departments and school districts are also tackling the issue of prejudice. CBS 13's Drew Balea joins us live in Sacramento getting answers on what bias training is and how it's done. Drew? Well, we've heard that term bias training or implicit bias training, uh, training a lot recently. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg stressed the importance of having that training for police officers and a local school district also implemented implicit bias training following some racially insensitive events. And while those professions couldn't be more different, the training is rather similar. We need to have culturally responsive staff. Openness, acceptance and understanding. Look over a student's profile, understand that student and where they're coming from. Xanthi Pinkerton with Elk Grove Unified School District says addressing implicit bias begins with realizing its existence. Recognizing your own behaviors, your own biases, your cognitive perspective. In the last year, Elk Grove Unified School District has begun bias training with teachers and staff. The district has come under fire for several racially charged incidents in the last two years, including a student video that went viral and allegations of race-related firing of school deputies. We realize we need that we need to have the training and it needs to be part, it needs to be integrated. The school system now has presentations, group discussions, and even home visits to educate staff on their biases and broaden their understanding of other people. Help build unity, helps build integration, and it really helps um, people understand other people. The Sacramento Police Department also requires all officers to go through bias training. We want officers to implement this every time they interact with a member of the, of the community. Officers spend class time going over scenarios and discussing how bias could affect outcomes. As part of the cultural immersion portion of the training, officers spend time learning about the community that they work in. They uh, participate in the Oak Park Peace Walk. They uh, participate in a day of service where they're out in the community. Acknowledging core differences as a way to build better relationships within the community. If you treat everybody fairly in the same way, regardless of how you may personally feel, then you gain the trust. Now, the Elk Grove Unified School District has been doing this training only in the last year, but in the last month, they've had three training presentations. The Sacramento Police Department has been doing implicit bias training since at least 2015. Drew Balea, live in Sacramento for us. Drew, thank you.